Hi, my name is Anna Knezic and I'm a visual artist based in New York City, but originally from Belgrade, Serbia. Uh, I haven't been home for quite some time now since this pandemic started, but today I'm taking a virtual walk in Belgrade. I'm playing a game, AI, VI. And a chatbot called Lab is asking me to pick a numeric code. Okay, I will pick the second one. Okay. Look, wow, he had, oh, he's pointing me to my university. Okay, we'll take this line from here to here there okay have you asked have you arrived at the faculty of fine arts not yet of course not i don't have wings i cannot fly but i'm trying my best Okay, here we are, uh, in front of the Getzakon bookstore in Belgrade that I use to buy books. Uh, it's right in Knesbihailova Street, my favorite street in Belgrade. Uh, it's quite cloudy in Bel Belgrade on this picture, but it's much more beautiful when it's sunny, I have to say. Uh, and this is the street that I use to take a walk every day toward my university. Hello, Anna. Hey, hi, Anna. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. I'm glad that you, I see also that you're trying Ivy out. Do you mind if I join you for a walk? Not at all. Uh, and I know why you're here. Actually, you created this game, AIVI. You're the mother, right? Yes, that's true. I am one of the mothers of this beautiful monster, along with my colleagues, Isidora Maya and Sunchitsa. And the fathers are Alexander, Philip, Ivan, and Milos. Quite a big family, don't you think so? And all of us were gathered and supported thanks to Center for Promotion of Science Belgrade and Art and Science AI Lab. Uh, is it supposed to be a virtual experience? Uh, actually, uh, it is initially created as pervasive game with just the support of mobile technology. That means that you, as a participator, are kind of a border hopping between physical and digital spaces, between the real cityscape of Belgrade and game interface. Um, you can also interact with different characters in the game world that we call bots. Our idea was basically to design a fun and educative game and discuss some important questions uh, of application of artificial intelligence, both in private and public spheres. And as I understand, you also work with new technologies. Yes, yes, yes. I work with virtual reality and I was an artist in residence at Culture Hub in Europe three years ago. Wow, lucky you. I could have sensed that we were on the same road. Hey, but look at this. On this Google map, there is a right of a shopping center missing. Oh, I don't mind it at all. <laughs> I don't miss it, actually, that it's missing. I don't mind. Well, to be honest, I don't miss it either. Uh, but it's kind of uh, interesting that in this particular case, the technology is kind of behind the real time. Well, yes, yeah, since we usually think of advanced technology as something we need to catch up with, but if it weren't like this, I guess it wouldn't bring so many memories. When, when, when we are talking about memories, let me show you something. Like, you see this wall there, uh, like with this guy looking at those colors? Of course. It's my favorite mural in Belgrade. It's, um, it's one of my favorites, too. Such a coincidence. Really nice, nice to hear that. Uh, it's actually, uh, I don't know if you're familiar, but it's uh, uh, made by one of the professors of the University of Fine Arts, who actually spent night in jail uh, because this, this mural was actually the first legal mural in Belgrade in 1984. And no one figured out that it's kind of like regular act, not some illegal act. 
and it took some time for them to like get the information back from the city officials to figure out that it's like he's doing something like <laughs> that is okay <laughs> poor guy wow. in jail yeah huh? I didn't know that story. I, I and I really love stories about Belgrade, how it changes. Although I have to admit, it's harder for me to accept all those changes as I'm getting older. But can I ask you one provocative question? Sure, ask. Aren't you afraid that artificial intelligence could replace us artists in the close future? Mm, to be honest. I'm not afraid of that uh, because like artificial intelligence doesn't have uh, emotions, doesn't have consciousness. And for me, art is the part of the emotional cognitions. So, but if you, but if I think mm, like, uh, if you asked me like four, like 10 years ago, if um, like, uh, if you told me that I will be working with virtual reality, uh, I would, talk, I would, think that like that that can never happen you know it's not possible but now after four years of working with virtual reality i can tell you that it's quite cool uh medium mm -hmm. like that. and technology is really advancing so fast that we um, there's no way that we can figure out like now like what the future can bring like and how it can like advance and what mm -hmm. that contribute to, how can that contribute to the art field so like but uh, I think that there will always be human behind artificial mm -hmm. intelligence, always. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. And thinking of human as a creator of AI or as an user of AI, as a free labor, data collector, master or a prey, if we want to simplify, just choose your role. And this smash of roles that you can take in our Ivy game is what I really find as a special charm. Um, because as a player or participant, you can be a character in a mobile game, a field researcher engaged by bots, and you can even develop human-like relationships with them. Um, or you can be just an observer of the city, collector of different data, and in some way, you're being an undercover performer, and that is probably my favorite part. You make a change to the city landscape by your intentional actions and leave a visible trace, just like your professor did with this mural. Um, at the end, as a player of Ivy, you are basically put in different perspectives of imagining the future with advanced technologies. For me personally, Artificial intelligence really does sound exciting, but I keep asking myself, are we aware of all the possible consequences? Uh, probably some of us are not aware, uh, but um, um, we cannot know right now. Mm, mm. I hope the best will happen. And I do believe in us humans, you know, mm. uh, and I'm very happy that I had the chance to like experience this AI AI game and that I walked at least virtually in Belgrade uh, and very happy that I will see also some familiar faces from Belgrade like tonight. Yeah, definitely. There are going to be some really cool people tonight with us. Thank you for um, this beautiful gameplay. Uh, enjoy playing Ivy and see you later. Do Ciao. Ciao.